King Robert, the first of his name, defender of Northern England, Scotland, and Ireland, do so claim England as mine by rights and conquest. King Henry, I challenge you and your banners to meet me on the field of battle. And if you can defeat me, you can claim my banner and rip your arms from it. Welcome back to 1257 AD. This is Arcade Night, and the king has just returned from moving his garrison from Edinburgh Castle down to Cardiffin, and he is, man, he is tired, he is tired, and he is ready to do some kingly business. Also, he cannot wait to get down to Beasted Castle and start sieging. Uh, you, you know, I just can't think of any better way for a monarch to spend the weekend. So guys, sit on your comfy thrones, grab your golden chalices, and let's get started. Okay guys, we've got so much to do, so much to do. There are some lords that I have been neglecting for some time now. Uh, let me take a sip and, and give them a mighty cheer. Oh. I will thank these lords properly right now by handing out some fiefs like I should have done a long time ago. Here's what I want to do. I want to talk about the state of affairs. And I want to grant one of my vassals a fief. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to grant Wick to Lord Peter Denton. Thank you, Lord Peter Denton, for all you've done. Now you have Urquhart Castle and Wick. You could have that little crook of England or Scotland, whatever you want to call it up there. <sighs> now, I, f I feel good about that. I think he is set up now. Next thing is, I also want to grant Edinburgh Castle and Ed Edinburgh. So let's talk about Edinburgh Castle first. I want to grant this to Lord Gibicwa. He has been with me for a long time, and he is a good-natured person. He finally deserves to have a castle of his own. And I'm not done there. I'm not done there for all your, all your time, all your loyal service. I'm also going to give you, it's, yes, the village that's connected to it. So where are you? Ah, there you go. I know you've waited for so long, but you finally have that. And then thirdly, I'm going to give Carluke. I'm going to give Carl Luke to Lord Joseph Brecklin, who's really my warden of the Northern Kingdom. And uh, I think that's appropriate. There's a lot of lords who are debauched, who I really don't care. Warrim, I'm really upset about it. He's got some good stuff going on in Ireland. I, I don't know why he's giving me such a hard time. Um, but that is the first order of business. Uh, next up, guys... Um, I've got a little surprise to show you other than the banner. Let's talk about the banner. Oh, look at it. Look at it. King Henry's going to be so pissed. He's going to be so pissed when he sees this. Oh, my gosh. I hope, I hope his army comes all the way up from Portugal and tries to beat me on the field of battle because he's basically given up on England. He's given up on England and all his people. So King Robert has to step in. And take care of all those people in England. So we're going to have to march down deep south in England very soon. But Beeston is going to be taken care of in this episode today. But first of all, guys, th the next surprise I have for you is um, I'm going to have to get out of here. And I'm going to take a little trip over to my stables and show you what I'm talking about. So guys, follow me on to the stables. I want to thank all my wonderful subscribers out there for offering up the amazing suggestions on the names for my two horses, for King Robert's Mighty Steeds. And first, I want to thank the Duke for inspiring the name of the first horse. Now, this horse is going to be my regal horse. The horse that all my peasants, all my fellow lords will see me on as I travel through towns and villages throughout England, Ireland, and Scotland. The name of my first horse... Hey, lady, get out of my way. The name of my first horse is Canute, named after King Canute the Great. The mighty king of the North Sea Empire. I think this is a perfect name. And also I had the grand artist of the Northern Kingdom add these, these regal crowns to Canute. I, I, think it, I think it looks great. Nice mighty crowns added to his armor. 
Guys, I am so excited about Knud. I can't wait to ride him into battle, to ride him into town, to show him off. So let me get my stable master ready. Stable master, go ahead, grab my second horse. Guys, I'm going to see you as soon as the stable master brings out my next horse. I want to thank Sir Richard Lick for offering up this suggestion for the next horse in my stable. Now, this is the horse that is going to be the one that rides with me on the battlefield. This is the horse that has stepped on countless enemies. He is Bloodhoof. What a great name for my primary battle horse. And uh, also, the artists of Northern England have done an amazing job adding the bloody cross against a black field on the armor of the horse. I, I think it looks really great. Guys, oh, I can't wait to ride this on the battlefield and scare my enemies. I hope King Henry's around when I ride this horse. Oh my goodness, guys, I am so excited. So listen, we've got a lot to do. I have to go head off to Kildrummy Castle, grab my garrison, grab a few more prisoners and sell them off because I want to clear all my dungeons because I need to make room for all the English lords that are going to be living for the rest of their lives in some Northern England dungeons. So guys, let's get out of here and follow me to Kildrummy Castle. All right, so who's who's this? Oh, Lord Rodrigo, he hates me, but probably only because he has Inverness and he's very debauched. But uh, I'm heading to Kildrummy Castle, and I think it's probably best that I go ahead and call my banners up. Uh, notice I've got a very, very small uh, army with me right now, just carrying around a few knights, a few senior knights, um, and my trusted companions. But let me go ahead and call the banners up. Let me talk to my prince. Uh, yes, let's assemble the army. Okay. And then let's head over to Kiltrumi Castle and let's grab my army. So I've got the majority of my army here. And I think what I want to grab is, hmm, definitely want to grab some more knights. I, I kind of want to show this off, guys. I mean, I, I'm, in, I'm happy. I got 100 senior knights plus another 14 here. I, that makes me feel really good inside. Let me take a sip from my golden chalice. Mm. <sighs> Gotta celebrate that. Next goal, 200 senior knights. That would be absolutely amazing. So that's my next goal. Um, but let me grab... Hmm, let's grab... I think you know what? I think I'm gonna let my senior knights take a rest. I'm gonna keep the 14 I have with me. And I think I'm just gonna grab all my lesser knights. That's gonna be perfect. So let's get those guys upgraded up. And then the next thing I think I need to do is grab a bunch of infantry, a bunch of axemen. I think it's best. Um, I'm going to go down to Garnavin and I'm going to grab, I think, some crossbowmen or some Welsh veteran archers down there. Uh, that's where I moved all my archers from Edinburgh Castle. Uh, but I think I have, I think I have some axemen here. Oof. Okay, guys, at the end of the day, I just grabbed a, a ragtag group of spearmen and axemen and a few knights here and there. But, um, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm really looking for someone who's got a really good weapon and uh, a good shield. Mainly for sieges. And, and I'm not sure. This guy looks pretty good, actually. Latin senior militia spearmen. Guys, if you know... Which is just a really great infantry man in this game that's got like a shield and, and it's a great weapon and good armor that I'm not seeing that I could pick up. You guys let me know in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. But also, let's grab all these prisoners. Yep, and we're going to... I think I saw... I was selling to a ransom broker in Sterling. And I was making good money. Notice I, I got my money up. But um, let's see if he's back in Sterling. Let's get out of here. I saved some room to pick up some archers or crossbowmen down in Carnivan, just like I said before. But let's let's head over to Oh, that's Glasgow. What am I doing? Let's head to Sterling. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, Joseph Breckley. Yeah, he's happy. I just gave him some more lands. Okay. So let's see. In the tavern. Oh yes. He's upstairs, I believe. Sell it to the ransom broker. Ah, the good old days. King's still gotta do it. Gotta make some money. Yep, I'm sure. Well, that's not very much. Those are must, must have been some cheap-ass prisoners. Okay, so I've got Joseph Brecklin. I've got... Oh, 
Peter Denton's following me too. And um, Lancaster Castle is now out of my hands. Yep. So I, I, I like this. Not like Lancaster. Edinburgh Castle. He's got, I believe, Oban, Edinburgh Castle, and Edinburgh. So he's got this little strip of land here. And then uh, pretty soon, once we got this situation down south a little better, I'm going to give Joseph Breckwood Glasgow so he can be the Warden of the North and have Peter Denton and some other people help him out. Eventually, I'm going to give Kildrummy away because I've got my eyes set on another another castle to hold my army, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, guys, uh, let's head south. We're going to head to Cardiffin when we get there and we start picking up the army. I'm going to cut right back, so I'll see you guys in a second. Guys, take a look at this. The Kingdom of Norway and the Kingdom of England have made peace. So that means England is only fighting a war on one front, but they are the, the center of their powers down in Portugal, guys. Uh, Gita Mumford's down there. Prince Edward's down there. King Henry III himself's down there. I wonder if they're ever going to make it up and try to defend what they have left. But, um, guys, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go to war with Norway after I finish off England. Before I go to war with France to get back London and, and Bristol. Ugh, what a mess. And, and then I haven't even talked about Wales. And the, the, the island of Man. Uh, guys, let me let me keep heading back back down south to Cardiffin. It's just too much to think about right now. Okay, so I, you see, I, you know, at the end of the day, do the archers really matter in these sieges? I, I've begun to to think that it's just a waste of time. Um, so that's why I think I'm gonna put them all the way at the bottom, and I, I'll I'll take. I'd take my Welsh veteran archers, but I'm going to put them all the way at the bottom. I'm going to hope I get knights and, and uh, yeah, knights and infantry. I think that's the best way to go. We're just going to march right in there. And then, uh, guys, I, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to march on Beeston Castle. I think Joseph Breckland's following me. I saw some other lords hanging around. There's another one. Jo yep, John Gresham. Joseph Brecklin. Oh, here we go. Ah, Manuel Magus has showed up. Ah. And there's a kingdom of Norway, Lord. Hmm. Enjoy, enjoy York for now. Good sir, it won't be yours for long. Okay, guys. Let's see, who is here? He's only got ten men. Oh, this is... Let's see. An Archbishop of York. So, <laughs> he must be pretty upset uh, that York is now in the hands of Norway. But what do I have to worry about? Oh, it looks like they've got some pretty good infantry here. Wow, we're going to be mulling through some spearmen, some mercenaries like crazy 24-minute arms. Oh, guys, we've got we've got a siege on our hands. But look, there's wow, there's over a hundred prisoners, and some some pretty decent stuff. Some pretty decent stuff. All right, let's let's go siege this castle. Oh, it's ladders. I love it. I love it. Oh. So let's get this started, right? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to just have, like, all of this. Just all of this. I know I don't have York. I don't have the rest of Wells. And I don't have Man. But come on. Come on. I got I got all of this. I got all of this. And I got all of this. And I'm just going to march on to Pembroke. Coffee. To Luz. To Dover. To Clare. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Okay, guys, once this siege gets started, uh, I'm going to cut right back. So I'll see you guys in a second. Men, are you ready to take the rest of Northern England? Then follow me, men! Infantry charging! Knights on me! Have my Lion Guard on me, I have the Prince on me. Yep, yep. Oh, these Welsh bowmen. These Welsh bowmen! I don't think I have many archers, but if I do, I'm going to set them up over here, right at the crook of that ridge. Oh, we're, we're taking some heavy casualties, guys. Some heavy casualties here. I think that's what it's going to take. They are adamant about keeping this castle. Their last stronghold, not even in the north, kind of in the, the middle kingdom here. Oh, okay. We're finally getting through. Man, this may take several assaults. Come on, men. Make it up there. 
What do I have? I have, okay, so I have some knights, about 22 knights on me, right here. Okay, knights, let's see, let's see if we can... Oh my goodness, we have taken more damage to have any men left up there. Oh, knights, you following me? Yep, got the knights following me. Oh, okay, let's see if we can hold. All right, let's see if we can hold up here. Sir. Oh, thank you, knights. Thank you. Okay, man. Oh my goodness. That knights definitely charge. All right, let's see if we can keep our infantry holding here. Have those knights charging up there. Where's the lion guard? Where's the prince? I need you guys. I need you. Okay. Hopefully the knights can. Ah, oh, the knights and the lion guard. Do I see them here? I see. Uh, they're gonna need my help. Need my help clearing up here. Oh, I gotta get the longer sword. Yeah, definitely the longer sword for that. Okay, I think the knights can clear that out. Oh my goodness, they're gonna need some help over here. Lion Gord! Oh, I've got some of my lords here too. See if I can help out. Oh, King Robert's not a good javelin thrower. Not good at all. So it looks like the knights. Oh crap. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Lion guard, why aren't you charging in? What are you doing, Lion Guard? All right, knights on me. We need some help here, friends. We need some help here. This is where the battle is. This is where it's happening. Oh, I cannot fall down there. That would be tragic. That would be tragic for the king. But we are having a hard time. Holding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Come on, the king. King wants it. And his brain's thirsty. His brain's thirsty. Oh, yeah. I'm in. Keep up. Keep up. Ah, this is going to be something else holding it right here. What do we have here? Come on, guys. I mean, everyone should be charging at this point, right? Everyone should be charging. Everyone be charging. Let them be on the bottom. Let them fight their way up. Not the other way around. Yeah, we can hold them here. See if we can put our archers here. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, Lord. All right, all right. Push him back. Push him back. Okay, okay, who we got? Mormon coming, Mormon coming! Come on, man! Come on, man! Oh, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. Oof. We're having a hard time holding the top of the wall here. Oh, shoot. I'm in a bad spot. Okay, we've got more men coming, got more men coming! I've got all crossbows trained on me. Oh, and you, good sir. What do you think you're doing? Okay, okay, good, good, good. Man. I've got knights getting killed up here. Come on, men, make it through, make it through! 
Second assault time, guys! Infantry! Charge in! Infantry! I'm gonna have the, uh, the knights follow on me. Okay, infantry. Let's do this! Let's do this! Oh, I know we're losing a lot of men. I know we're losing a lot of men. But we can do it, men! Alright, we, we have the numbers here. We definitely have the numbers. I think they have... Perhaps maybe a little less than 200 men left somewhere around that number I think we can take them on this assault right here. We're just gonna get a foothold on the top of the wall And I already see my infantry doing it without the help of my knights Okay Same tactics this time guys We just need to get up there hold the top of the wall having my knights on me Have my lion guarded prince on me. Where are they? Okay, I've also got the archers following me once we establish the top of the wall. I'm going to set the archers up. Set the archers up. Oh, man. We've got a lot of establishing to do, though. A lot of establishing to do. Come on, friends. That little shield's not going to help you. Oh, but... Okay. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Wow, this is coming a mess. Okay, guys, finish that off. Finish that off. Okay, so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cavalry, I need you to go over there. Archer set up over there. Okay, so perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, that was not exactly as I planned it. We still need to establish the top of the wall, and I've got all my men blocking my way. Get out of the way. I swear to God. Okay, Archer set up in this nest right here. Perfect. You guys are already there. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Man, I should probably put my lion guard here because they're they have a lot of use your range weapons guys use your range weapons where's the prince though he's probably right in the thick of it if he hasn't already fallen it looks like they need my help in here though oh and then we got more men coming down there there's the prince right in the thick of it right in, oh and he just killed somebody nice wow he is badass he he's definitely wants to be knighted soon. What is he using? What kind of axe? I'm not sure. One-handed axe? He's using a sword? Oh, we just advanced to level 18. That is wonderful to see him kicking ass and see him actually hit a level. I think we're doing good. You guys doing anything? Nope, just dying. You guys, the charge in. I thought you had some arrows left. Should I guess I could have told you to use ranged weapons. But I didn't think about it. So you, you're better used... Up in the front lines. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. Because that's what archers do in sieges. Nothing. What are you going to charge in? Go to the front lines too. Alright, I got to clear this crap off back here. I didn't realize there's some guys back here. and It's probably best... Best that I do this. I think I can clear this out. Can't even see anything. You missed. You missed. Oh. Always wanted to do this. Can I can I do this? Can I? Oh no. Switch the shorty sword. Ah. <sighs> My sword was too long, was too tall for there, for the, uh, the ceiling. Okay. I think my men have control of the situation now. This is good to see, good to see, and I think I still see some Lion Guard alive. That is amazing. Still Lion Guard alive. Possibly. Maybe. Yes, two of them. Look at this. I can't believe it. There's two of them alive. Okay, so who do we have left here? We have three enemies left 
all out charge guys i think we i think we got this castle wow that was uh that was a little bit more difficult than i thought it was but you know these sieges always tend to be hmm let's let's watch these men die shall we it's it's it for you men it's in for you good sir it's one axeman down and poor guy with a baby shield that's it that's it <sighs> guys we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and uh, we're gonna check out Beasted Castle. Let's 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 get out here and check out this castle. Oh, oh! I can't believe it! I can't believe you're you <laughs> you are in the castle. Well, sir, you're my prisoner now, it, and you know how this goes. I, I offer you a chance, and you don't come with me to bend the knee. You're gonna spend the rest of your days in my prison. I don't care who you are, Archbishop or not. Um, guys, I'm going to take a little time and uh, grab the cream of the crop and maybe drop off some of these these poor fellows I have in my garrison Well, I actually have in my army. So hold on one second. Well, that was very productive I filled up the rest of my army with some pretty decent men. I got some Some men in arms some Welsh bowmen Also, I think I got a couple of, a couple of senior knights out of the deal and also I have seven lesser knights that upgraded to senior knights. So that's pretty good and then also Prince Richard needs to be upgraded. Uh, but first of all, let's see the item pool. Some pretty good stuff there. Not so bad. Uh, let my heels get the rest of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, let him collect the rest of that. Whew, that could have been bad. And, um, hmm. I think I'm, for now, going to defer the appointment. Well, for a later date. So let's check out the Lord's Hall. Oh, this is a little different. This is a little different. Not so bad. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, guys, I had an amazing time on today's episode. We got everything accomplished. I showed off my two mighty steeds. Oh, we handed out some feasts, and also we finally conquered the rest of the Middle Kingdom, the rest of Northern England. Guys, we're ready to push south. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out so much. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, guys, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.